Assalamu alaikum, my brothers, my sisters, we're sitting in a little cafe uh, waiting for a bit of tea here in Mecca to Mukarramah. We've done our Umrah, mashallah. It was very busy for February. And that is a sign of the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because normally at this time of the year, it's not as busy as it has been this year. So one of the reasons is post COVID, many people are traveling and also it's been made quite easy to enter and exit. So Alhamdulillah, it's really a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the interim, there are some lovely places to eat and drink as well. Although it's not the main aim of our trip and visit, but I think it's important to uh, have a decent place to eat and to relax as well. Uh, it's important also to make sure that you have your immune system, uh, you know, intact or to the best of your ability at least. And may Allah accept from us uh, whatever we've done. We took a moment to go and visit some of the sites of importance here in Makkah al Mukarramah, although uh, we are unable to uh, tick off all of the sites on the list. But Arafah, mashallah, beautiful place. That's where the Hajj takes place. And mashallah, here is our tea. We're watching what they're doing here. Mashallah, he's going to light up the little uh, uh, candle there. And there's quite a bit of, a, there's a fancy uh, cup of tea there by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think they come in with some bakhoor here as well. We ordered a bit of karak. And, uh, you know, we, we, we like a cup of karak now and again. Alhamdulillah, here goes the bakhoor. If you can have a peep at that, mashallah. What a beautiful uh, ambience they've created. Jazakallah khair, ya habibi. khalas. Jazakallah, shukran. Well, here goes, mashallah. So, we visited uh, Mina as well as Muzdalifa in passing. And at the same time, uh, we tried our best to see as much as we could of Mecca. And here goes. Now we're spoiling ourselves to a cup of beautiful, beautiful karak. Uh, it may not be as the, as good as the one I have at home, but mashallah, it's still good enough. Home away from home, mashallah. Trust me, the scent of this bakhur is amazing. So usually what is done with the bakhur, uh, if I can just give my, my friends a little bit of this karak before we show you the bakhur. Brother Uthman, would you like to take that? Mashallah, the barakallah. Mashallah, brother Adam, here goes. Alhamdulillah, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mashallah. Oh, Sheikh, Alhamdulillah, Barakallah Fikum. There goes, that's yours. <coughs> and this one can be mine. So what they normally do with the Bakhur is they would bring it closer to you. And uh, in order not to let it affect your eyes, those who wear a scarf, they would actually cover the mouth uh, or just below the mouth. You hold it closed and you lift it on, on top of this, so it doesn't affect your mouth, your, your nose actually. You can breathe from here, so you can breathe there. Your eyes are not affected. And there we go. So what happened there is, it goes into the beard and into the clothing that you've worn. And you, you know, it will actually remain to the following day. When you wash for Fajr and so on, you you get the scent of this Bakhur. So that's how they do it usually here. Sometimes if you don't have something to cover your face, uh, as I said, you leave your nose out and your eyes out, then they would just perhaps bring it towards their faces. If you have a beard, mashallah, it will retain the scent. If you don't have a beard, well, you lose out. But here goes, mashallah, there goes. So brother Uthman, you can go for it as well, inshallah. And there's the tea. The tea made in Makkah. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, amazing. Amazing. Not as good as the Pakistani tea. But trust me, it's decent. May Allah bless you guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.